Yeah, good morning, Chelsea. Yes, I'm here with San Fortune. Thank you so much for no being problem. here. I'm very excited. Uh, San, what do you do? I am a bead embroidery artist, and I also do bead weaving, so bead I make weaving. jewelry and so panels. These, these are yours here. Look they at these are. Uh, jewelry. They're amazing. I can't wait to get into it. Again, this is Mornings and Corning. We have our door open. We're on Market Street, so if you want to come check out any of these jewelry pieces, again, they're all for sale, right? They are. They're for sale, too. <laughs> and um, so we'll get into how they're made. I want to know yep. about you and how you started doing all this. And then we also have panel work, too. Like, yes. What do you call that? Bead embroidery panels. They're panel. framed. <laughs> they're framed. Okay, so that and jewelry. So it's very exciting this morning. Again, come check us out. Again, every Friday we're down here. Thank you to Ferrari Auto Team for sponsoring this. Uh, we're here on Market Street, and I'll be with San all morning long through 7 o'clock. So stay with us. All right, back here with San Fortune, Mornings and Corning again. And now what are we joined with now? This is a bead embroidery panel. So this was the panels we were talking yes. about earlier. Okay. Yes. So we have the jewelry on the panels. And I want to know a little bit about the early years. Like what initially got you started in any form of jewelry? Um, being a kid and loving beads and sparkly things and jewelry. So I was constantly taking jewelry apart that was given to me and putting it back together in different ways and stringing beads and... Yeah, so I would, you know, Madonna was big. Here I am revealing my uh, age. No. Madonna was big, so it was lots of beads, and so I would make my own jewelry. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. so. oh cool. That's, <laughs> oh, we love Madonna. We still love Madonna. It's not showing your age. And um, so you did that, and then when did you really take off um, with the jewelry? How long ago um, was that? Jewelry, I have been stringing jewelry and making necklaces and bracelets for um, people and selling probably... Um, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. So lifetime of with the beads and then yes. 15 years of the jewelry. Yes. Yeah. So All this right. didn't come until later. <laughs> this didn't come until later. All right. Well, I'm excited to learn more about that and learn more about when you did take off with okay. the jewelry. So again, uh, stick with us. Again, our door is wide open. We're here right on Market Street for our mornings and cornings. So don't forget uh, to stick with us through the 7 o'clock hour and we'll have more news and weather as well coming up after the break. Well, good morning. Once again, we're here with San Fortune. Thanks Hi. for joining us. No Back with the panels. And we talked a little bit about what got you started with beads, but I want to know now what made you transition from beads to jewelry and take it full speed ahead. Like, tell me a little bit about that process. So, doing the bead stringing felt a little limiting to me. I couldn't get past how I could work more personality and more of myself into the stringing yeah. instead of just doing a pattern and, and laying it on. Um, so I took a class with a local bead artist, local Anne Ricotta. Here in Corning? Yep, her name is Anne Ricotta. She's also at West End Gallery along with me. Okay. Um, and I took a class with her. I think it was six hours, and she taught me some basic stitches just to get started. And six hours, wow. Yeah, and, and I, my first project was a cuff, not this one, but it was a cuff about that big. Okay, and hold that up so they can oh. see. That, that's your work too, right? Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. Um, and she taught me the basic stitches, and I finished that project, and I was hooked. You were hooked. And now this is what you do all the time. Yep. I can't think of anything else to do. Yeah. Well, they're <laughs> so, just, they're I love so it. They're so cool, and they're so intricate and pretty incredible what you do. Um, but again, I can't wait to talk now about more your jewelry coming up, too. I know yeah. we got a preview of that in the beginning, so we're going to bring yep. that back over okay. uh, coming up. Yeah, good morning once again, Chelsea. Once again, we're with San Fortune, bead embroidery artist. They're beautiful, and we got the new panel now, right? Yes. Yes. It's just a smaller one. A smaller one, so if you can <laughs> see that one, that uh, very, very pretty. But I also want you guys at home to see more of San's work. So I put together a little video uh, on your screen. You can see um, all the different kinds of stuff that she does, and they're different shapes. Like my favorite one's the heart. Yes. Tell me about, is there a focal point? How do you choose what shape you're going to do? Or tell me about that process. So I look through my materials, and I'm gathering materials all the time. And I'll look through and pick something that I want to work with. And it's usually the bigger piece, whether it's a cabochon or a piece of clay. Mm -hmm. And I'll start from there. And I'll beat around it. And I'll work around. So I usually don't have a plan. I maybe have a plan for a color palette that I want to go with it. But that's, that's how it starts. That's so nice. It's and like it goes freedom, from there. Right? Yeah. You can, you can have a choice <laughs> yeah. which you want halfway through. You're like, yeah. all right, it's going to go this way. And sometimes it doesn't end up where I think it's going to, but then to go. But no, then nothing is a mess up, right? No. Exactly. <laughs> you can just go with it. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, so again, we are here on Market Street. We have the door wide open. So come in. Come check out. We have uh, panels here. We have Sands um, jewelry as well. So we have it all here. Again, we're here through 7 o'clock uh, this morning. So stay with us. Chelsea, back to you. 
All right, well, we're now joined by your jewelry. Yes. I love these. These are so <laughs> cool. And I want to know a little bit about how you make them. And again, there's two different ones here. That yes. one's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. What the time it takes to make these, they're incredible. So this one is a little bit smaller using two labradorites and some different bead shapes. Um, probably takes about 10 hours or so, and then I just string it on a, a, a sterling silver chain. This one takes quite a bit more yeah, because look I'm, at the chain yeah. There. So this is um, bead weaving, so that's all stitched by just weaving the beads together with okay. thread, and that takes a long time. So this one probably took um, about 30 hours or so. so. There's a difference between, what is it, bead weaving? Bead and weaving and bead embroidery. This is all bead embroidery, so that's taking beads and stitching it down to a backing and then coming back up and stitching it together. Whereas, and that's what's done around here. Okay. But then bead weaving is no backing, so you're just stitching the beads together with thread. Oh my gosh. Making a rope. That's insane, and it's beautiful. And then, how, wait, so when you, are deciding on a piece, do you choose this, what's in the middle first? I do. I, okay. I, so I chose, I believe I started up here, and I did yeah. some, um, a beaded bezel around it, and then I build out around it, and then I, I match stones together and they're, go from there. They're incredible. So again, stick with us. We're here till 7 o'clock. We'll be back, and we'll let you know where you can uh, buy these for yourself. <laughs> I know these are looking like great gifts. <laughs> stick with us. Kelsey, they are beautiful. We're back here with the panel. This, I, just, I love this one. I love the <laughs> blues in it, too. Uh, but, San, a lot of artists that I've interviewed so far, it's been a common theme that they use their artwork to really kind of help with themselves mentally, maybe escape, and um, yes. really enjoy, enjoy the process. Is that the same for you? Can you tell me about that? It is that? definitely the same. Um, if I'm not working on a project, I feel a little agitated. Like, I've, I've really got to figure out what my next move is. Um, if I'm not working with beads, yeah. Everybody around me knows it. <laughs> they, they know it. Yeah. Are you moody? That's <laughs> so angry. I'm I'm much better if I'm if I have a project that I'm working on and I work on it um, just about every night, sometimes um, every morning because I do have a full time job. Yeah. Um, so, so I work on it every day. So after work, you come home. Yeah, I mean, I have a family, so yeah, we have dinner and everything, yeah. <laughs> and then back to the beads. <laughs> a very supportive family, very supportive so nice. young son, so, oh, good. yeah, so every evening. It's probably usually. a house full of beads. It, it's full of bead materials, but okay. I actually forget to keep stuff for myself. Oh, you do? <laughs> so for that, you're wearing This I did not give up. Yeah, no, that's too pretty to give up. That's awesome. Well, again, yeah. thank you. And again, we have more coming up where you can find all these pieces. Again, we are here right on Market Street. We have our door uh, wide open. We're here through 7 o'clock. And don't forget, it's every Friday from 6 to 7 throughout the summer. Uh, again, stick with us. It's Mornings and Cornings. We'll be back in just a bit. Dan, I want to know where we can find your pieces. Uh, West End Gallery. And they're all for sale there. They are, yeah, except for the cuff. <laughs> except, except for your cuff, you're holding on to it. I know, I love, it was my favorite color, so I love Yeah, that. I love turquoise yeah, colors. So they're all for sale there. They are, yes. And tell me what you have. Um, I have several small panels that are um, three and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, I have this one here, which, you know, I go in and out of wanting to give up, not yeah. wanting to give up on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Um, and I have several necklaces, um, cuffs. I do have other cuffs there at the you do. at the shop. Yeah, I know those are those are really cool. And um, you do commission work. You're telling me. I do commission work. I just finished a large um, six-panel um, commissioned piece. Um, a woman wanted to incorporate some of her mom's jewelry into the Aww. bead embroidery, so it was a, kind of a keepsake. That's and then it also incorporates uh, silver spoons. So, so if people wanted to. Um, get that then where they where can they find you that would be West End Gallery West End. so they go to West End and they yep. ask and them. also on the West End Gallery web website okay and it's so. Sand Fortune don't yes. forget that's uh, <laughs> that's really important because <laughs> these are so cool and again uh, we'll have the daily pledge and another look at Sand's work after the break back here one final time with Sand Fortune. Thank you so much for joining us no this problem. morning. It was so nice to learn about you and what we have right here in our community. Like this beadwork is incredible and you never think it'd be right here in our backyard. Yeah. It, that was incredible. So thank you again so much again. Where can um, they find you once more? West End Gallery. And it's Sand Fortune. So yeah. don't forget that. That is the most important. And I wanted to play off everyone, send everyone off uh, to the weekend with some more of your work because my heart one, again, is my favorite. Thanks. I love the heart <laughs> one. So thanks again, Sam, no uh, for being here this morning. Thank and you. Have a good weekend, everyone.